Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf Coffee Break. My name is René Bremont. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this Coffee Break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the Coffee Break. Today, we are going to get started with Fornaf Universal Code in Business Central on-premise. Universal Code extensions are extensions that are optimized to run on cloud, and don't use DLLs, the local file system, and other features that are only accessible for on-premise extensions. To demonstrate how to get started with Fornav Universal Code, I will set up Fornav on a brand new Business Central service tier. Please be aware that the installation of Fornav in an on-premise environment is different from the installation of Fornav cloud-based systems. By cloud-based, we mean every Business Central system that is hosted by Microsoft. To determine if your Business Central is cloud-based, cloud please check your Business Central URL. It should start with businesscentral.dynamics.com. To demonstrate how to get started with Fornav Universal Code in Business Central on-premise, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will install the Fornav customizable report pack. In step three, I will install and set up the Fornav report service and designer. In the fourth and final step, I will set up the Fornav customizable report pack. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will install Fornav in the Business Central 2023 Wave 1 service tier that I have just created. In this service tier, you need permissions to install new extensions, and you also need permissions to install software on your server, as the Fornav report server is the report service is installed locally. This guide is for new installations of Fornav only. Please have a look at our recorded coffee break if you are upgrading from an existing Fornav DLL installation. The installation of Fornav Universal Code starts with the installation of the customizable report pack in your business simple tenant. This will, will install everything that you need to run, edit and create Fornav reports. You can download the Fornav Customizable Report Pack from the Fornav website, and please make sure that you download the uh, the correct version. So if you need the DLL version, you need the DLL version. If, if you need Universal Code, you need to find the Universal Code version on the Fornav website. So let's go to our Business Central server. And what I've got is just a simple Azure service uh, server uh, with uh, Business Central installed on it. And right here, I've got a bog standard localhost installation of Business Central uh, without any Fornav in there at all. To install Fornav Universal Code, uh, what you need is the Universal Code um, report pack, and you can find that uh, you can download download that from the Fornav website. And what you will end up with is these files. Uh, where the important ones are the Fornav Core uh, 7101, which is the latest uh, pre-release that I'm using. We have the report pack, the language module, and the uh, Fornav service, uh, which is based on the on the web service. If you have those, you can simply install those with a simple uh, PowerShell script, uh, which I have right here. And basically, what I do in this PowerShell script is I set the versions. I set my instance and I tell it where my source folder is. I have an install application and an upgrade application function. And if you install Fornaf Universal Code from scratch, if you don't have a pre-existing version, then of course you use the install app application. If you're upgrading it, then of course you will use the upgrade application, which will start all the uh, upgrade code units, etc. I have a line of PowerShell script in here, which will also install the Fornav report service. I have slashed that out, code, uh, commented it out for today's webinar, uh, because I'll be installing the report service manually later on. Uh, but if you are installing Fornav universal code on, for instance, a Docker environment, uh, this is what you need to get started uh, to install the Fornav service with uh, PowerShell. And finally, I have the install applications. I've slashed out my up upgrade applications, um, and that should do the trick. So I will run this with PowerShell, and I will leave this to it uh, because watching this installation is only slightly less boring than watching paint dry. So let's move on with the, with the next bit of the webinar. 
which is the installation of the Fornav Report Service and Designer. Uh, you can download the Fornav Report Service and Designer from the Fornav website, and what you end up with, if you have done that, is the Fornav Executable, which of course I have already downloaded, uh, because downloading uh, stuff from, uh, from websites is even more boring than watching stuff being installed. So I will install this, I will accept the agreement. Now I'm installing Fornav on a server at the moment, uh, which means I don't need uh, all of the components in development. Uh, I'm going for a deployment uh, where I will install the designer, which is not strictly necessary on a server, uh, but I want it anyway. I need the direct print service and I need the report service. And that typically is all that you need on a Fornav Universal Code Business Central service tier. I'll hit next, next, next and install. And I will install Fornav on my service tier. Which of course I have done before, which means that we may have some trouble with pre-existing fonts. And there we go, that's the installation of Fornav. And we can see in our PowerShell window that the installation of the report pack has also finished. Um, you will al always see the, uh, the warning that the package has been built for a server with a different version. And that's fine. As it says underneath that, uh, you can ignore that specific warning. And finally, after installing the report pack and installing the report service, uh, we can set everything up. Uh, so we can add a logo, watermark, payment note, etc. And we can also set up uh, uh, Porn App Designer so we can actually design our reports. So the first thing I will do is go back to Business Central and reload it. So my new extensions get loaded. Now I've got my Fornav reports in here, and if I open my Fornav standard reports list, Fornav asks me if I want to set up Fornav with the default versions, uh, which I don't. I just want to run through the Fornav setup wizard and set up a uh, payment note. And some legal conditions. My VAT type is fine. I want to import a watermark. I want to import a company logo, which is my Fornav logo. I want to replace all the report selections, and that replaces all of the report selections in your system with Fornav. So please don't do that if you're evaluating Fornav in a production environment. Um, but for now, that's what I want. So that's all of my setup done. I can finish it now. Which means that I can run my Fornav reports. If I preview my invoice, you will notice that my invoice gets printed. I've got my Fornav logo, I've got my Lightwood watermark, and I've got my payment, please pay, and the uh, legal conditions at the bottom. So that's all you need to do to set up Fornav in, uh, inside Business Central. The last thing we need to do is to connect Fornav to uh, the Fornav designer to Business Central. So let's do that one. Uh, at the moment, I'm connected to an older system. So my connection will be to Business Central uh, 2020, 22, which is the 2023 release wave one. And I'm still hoping that Microsoft will, at some point, find a name that is slightly easier to pronounce. I need to change my server instance to BC220. And I need to set my ports, obviously, to the defaults. That should give me my company information. There we go, which is Cronus International. I can test my setup. Uh, that tells me that my SOAP service is not enabled. Um, Fornav will always tell you which 
services are enabled and not enabled. So it will uh, it will help you in setting everything up. I'm going to skip this for now because I don't actually need to do anything else with uh, uh, with the four and a half designer. Um, as long as all of the ports are open, then everything will work as designed. So let's recap what we just did. We've installed the 4NAV Universal Code Customizable Report Pack in Business Central Service tier. Uh, then we installed the 4NAV Report Service and the designer, and we've set it up so we can edit 4NAV reports. Finally, we, we ran the 4NAV Setup Wizard in our Business Central database. We replaced the report selections and added a logo and a watermark. We also saw that we can see the status of the 4NAV Report Service in the Administration tool, which is something that I have forgotten to show you. When you install the 4NAV report service, uh, it will actually run the uh, 4NAV report service in the background on your server. And to have a look at what's going on inside the report service, we uh, you can set it up with the 4NAV report service.json. I'm just going to quickly open that with VS Code, and that will tell you uh, what, uh, what port we're on, uh, and it will give you the maximum current requests. And we will do a detailed coffee break on this later on. But for now, I'm just going to have a look at this URL. And if I go to this URL, you will notice that I've got the 4NAV report service. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see it. You can see the version that it's running on, and you can see the, uh, the last requests that have been made to this report service, where you can see the, the duration, and you can find your debug files if you have any errors that you want to share with the 4NAV support team. So having done this, let's move over to the uh, questions. I can see we don't have any questions at the moment. Uh, if you do have any questions, please uh, put them in the uh, question box whilst I will wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about 4NAV or if you want to download the 4NAV designer and converter, please visit our website. If you want to install 4NAV in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. Um, you can watch more videos about 4NAV on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about 4NAV, please email them to support at 4NAV.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit 4NAV.com slash coffee break. Thank you very much for listening to me today and goodbye.